Hello, fellow students and learners. Today is episode two of Science Class Unfiltered. Students' thoughts are revealed. And this will be for the class of AP Computer Science, which is a college level class, hence the AP. Now, the three questions I'll be asking are, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate the difficulty of the class? 10 being the most difficult and zero being easy. Or to sum the class up in one word, what would it be? And would you recommend this class to incoming students? That's it, and let's get right into the vid. A scale of one to 10, how difficult is AP Computer Science? I'd say a good five. It started out easier in the beginning of the year, but slowly got harder in the as the year progressed. If you were to sum up the class in one word, what would it be? Interesting. Would you recommend this class to incoming students? If they are interested in computer-related jobs, yes. Scale of one to 10, how difficult is the class? of AP Computer Science. Seven. Please explain in one to two sentences. It's difficult, but you can get good grades. Okay, thank you. If you were to sum up the class in one word, what would that word be? Computer. Thank you. Recommend this class to incoming students. If they're interested, yeah. Interested in what? Computer Science. On a scale of one to 10, how difficult was AP Computer Science? Zero. Could you explain in one to two sentences? Light work. All right, thank you. Um, if you were to summarize this class in one word, what would you uh, say the word is? Easy. Hello, editor here. Um, I just want to say that the audio file got corrupt when um, being transferred from my phone to my uh, PC. So I just wanted to say he did indeed say that he does recommend this class to incoming students. Well, hopefully that was enough to sway you to either take the class or not take the class next year. But nevertheless, I shall go into my opinion on the class. So I'd say it's about a 5 out of 10 as far as difficulty because it starts off with the basics of coding and then goes into more complex stuff. An example being making shapes in one unit and then in another making the shape move or doing a more complicated shape like obviously a square is going to be less complicated than a star. Um, but yeah, and it is more of a, um, I guess as far as grades, it's more of a completion grade for the assignments. I'll go more into how those assignments are in a little bit, but it's completion grades, so it's pretty easy. You just need to do well enough on the tests at least to get an A. At least that's why I do. And um, going into the second question, to summarize the class in one word, I'd say programming. It's heavily programming based. Obviously, it's AP Comp Sci. And for the third question, yes, I would recommend this to incoming students because it's a class. You can take the risk of taking an AP this AP class to where it won't detrimentally affect your grade, but you can uh, and you can still have the opportunity to learn. You know, computer science is recommended that or actually, I'm pretty sure required that you take foundations of comp sci, but um, there are special cases where if you know about comp sci beforehand, you can just ask the teacher um, if you don't have to take the class so you can take it. Now I will go into the structure. This is the really good part. So if you weren't listening to the past like couple of minutes, really listen to this next part. So this is basically the entire structure of AP Computer Science. The program, where we do our programming is on a website called CMU. There's a screenshot. So every unit, there's a couple exercise. There's a, um, I guess, learning or uh, documents we have to read and, you know, go through to learn about the stuff before we actually do the coding. You know, there's three points assignments that you can do, although those are more complicated. Um, and, you know, there's one point which that those are easy. So you could do more one point assignments or you could just do a high point assignment that's more difficult. You know, it gives you a lot of leeway, which is why I like the class. It's not like math where you can get something wrong because you can't it, it, it auto grades itself. So uh, when you get it right, it'll give you a check like this. It'll say points earned, one set cleared. So it's 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 a course that's like that. So you have to get it right in order to um, get the point. So the teacher doesn't necessarily grade it. He just inputs those grades into Schoology as a completion. There is a unit test for each unit. There is a practice test we do and we review a day before before we take the test. Again, it is uh, pretty self-paced. 
Now, he does give you time in class to do this, but as we move towards the end of the year, we're going to start rushing because of the, or not rushing, we're going to start moving quicker to get all the material material in before the AP test. So you're going to have to do stuff at home. But in the beginning, it's almost all, all in class, I'd say. If you want a more in-depth review of this, um, there is a video that I'll link in the description and the, or I guess I should say comments of the CMU themselves explaining how it works. It's, oh, sorry if you heard that. That was the video. Um, it like explains it pretty well. And that's going to basically be all the work you're doing in CMU um, for the entire year. That's the setup it's going to be. But yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that's enough uh, talking for me. If you have enough que or if you have any more questions, just go ahead and ask in the comments or send me a message on Instagram. And that's about it. Thank you for watching the vid and hope to see you in the next video. Peace.